Hello everyone, welcome to English with Sadaf. Today I am going to speak on impact of English language on corporate communication. Good English skills are like a one-way ticket to business success. They can take you all over the world or just to the job you want. English is not my mother tongue, but it is the language I think, speak and write in. At home, I speak in three languages after all, but I learned at a very young age that English was the language of success. It was the language of international business and communication. If I wanted a decent job anywhere in the world, I needed to be proficient in this language. So let's not waste the time and let's get started. Introduction The role of English language in career advancement is undeniable in this era of globalization. Though English language proficiency is not the only criterion for career development, it is, its importance in the corporate world is widely recognized. A survey was conducted to find out the importance of English in workplace among employees of different companies in India. The result shows that the necessity of English language skills in workplace hasn't changed and the participants have retreated the role of English as the influencing factor during interviews and at workplace. In addition, it has been found that poor English communication skills can hamper the attempts of finding a good job. Moreover, participants emphasized the need for in-house English training for improvement of skill required to perform their duties among all the skills speaking has been considered the most important skill in workplace. <clears throat> so this is the result of the survey you can have a look on. The target participant of this survey were corporate employees in order to understand their perspective of English language proficiency at workplace. The survey was sent to employees with one or two years of experience in any sector irrespective of their roles. Overall, 39 employees responded to the survey. The survey collected information such as gender, age, qualification, designation, industry. Among the participants, 39.5% of them were women and 60.5% 60, 60 of respondents were men. Moreover, majority of the respondents were from IT and ITES, that is Information Technology Enabled Services. The designation of the candidates were IT administrators, project managers, content writers, quality analysts, system administrators, etc. Let's move on to another topic. Yes, why English is so important in business. Deciding whether English is important for business, not a question of, the, of giving the language greater importance in general. It is simply a question of survival and success communication, successful communication. English is the most widespread spoken and written language in the world. An estimated 1500 million people speak the language worldwide, out of which only 375 million are native speakers. Over 1 billion people speak it as a foreign language. English tops the internet in the number of users and is also a top language in tech. And you have to be tech savvy to do well in the workplace, whether this means being able to put together Excel sheets, do a conference call, research and fact check data or use social media successfully. So if you don't know it well, you won't be able to effectively communicate with many other people. Now let's see English is the lingua franca which means common language of not only international business but also of all kinds of communication worldwide. This means it is useful for understanding and being able to share common experiences and references with your colleagues. So naturally, the ever increasing popularity of the English language means you must know the language well to succeed at your career and climb the corporate ladder. So now we are going to look more closely at why and how you should improve your English for business. The most spoken language worldwide in the survey of 2090 by speakers in million. Yes, English is still ruling the chart. It is on number one. English has 
1.121 million speakers. Number two is Chinese with 1.107, Hindi 534, Spanish 513, 285 French speakers, 274 speakers of Arabic, 265 Russian, 262 Bengali, 236 Portuguese, and 198 Indonesians. These are the top 10 languages by numbers of speakers, native plus non-native speakers. English matters. In today's global economy, English is the language of business. It provides a common platform for international communication, and organizations that recognize the importance of an English proficient workforce have a competitive edge in both the local and global marketplace. So here is the chart: people learning English worldwide. In 2004, it was one billion. In 2014, after a decade. it has jumped to 1.5 and in 2020 20 it has become 2 billion people who speaks english the importance of good english in business seven benefits seven big benefits so here are the seven ways having good english skills can help you succeed in business so number 1 is it shows your willingness to go beyond basic business standards like it or not it was a mark of superior knowledge and sophistication it made you look impressive to people even if you receive education in a different language or come from a place where english is barely spoken today you are expected to know english this means that in order to impress your interviewer or boss now you have to show that you are extremely fluent and competent in both speaking and writing the language Next is it will help you to communicate better with your colleagues. Working in an office means teamwork and collaboration. Even if you are an introvert, someone who prefers to spend more time alone, you will have to interact with your colleagues and that will be difficult if you don't know the language they speak very well. In a worst case scenario, it may even lead to misunderstandings that might put your job at stake. So learning business English helps you to develop both your language and interpersonal communication skills and ultimately it will help you to adequately express and represent yourself in front of other people. Third is it is important for delivering presentations and speeches. Just having a great idea isn't enough. You have to success success sorry you have to successfully express it to your audience as mentioned before business english is important for effective communication you cannot deliver a presentation to your team or be in charge of a board meeting if you speak in your native tongue and if no one else in that room speaks that language so you need to speak the common tongue well so you can translate your thoughts and ideas into coherent that means clear and logical sentences that everyone can understand and respond to Number 4 is good pronunciation always makes a good first impression. People do judge you by the way you speak. Also the type of English that is spoken differs from place to place. American English isn't the same as British English. There are in fact notable differences in accents and pronunciation. Similarly in India it is acceptable to mix words from Indian languages with English to communicate something leading to the formation of a hybrid or you can say a combined language. The best way to improve your pronunciation is of course to listen good pronunciation. Next is it allows you to travel. Yes it is. If you have always dreamed of working for an international company or traveling around the world for business, English is the most likely language to help you communicate with strangers. Next is it gives you an edge in other jobs as well. Yes of course if you have a full time job or run your own business but also do night shifts or part time jobs to supplement your income you probably already know that your english proficiency will give you an edge over the other applications and your knowledge of the english language may come in handy and the last is finally it allows you to express yourself in a language that everyone understands yes 
As I mentioned before, English is a lingua franca, a common language of the world due to westernization and globalization. So, being fluent in English is essentially a survival strategy in today's competitive world. It automatically improves your chances of climbing the corporate ladder. So, this brings me to the end of the session. According to me, English is undoubted, undoubtedly the best language to learn. So, if you haven't made your decision yet, so go ahead, please start learning English because it is extremely going to help you achieve your goal and reach your destination. I'll be back with a new lesson soon. Till you all take care, stay home, stay safe and thank you. And do subscribe my channel and like my video. Thank you once again.